Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go over my current skincare routine. I have very, very sensitive skin with a lot of redness and it tends to be pretty normal, not super oily in the winter months so I have seen a good amount of dryness. So if you would like to hear about the products that I use, then please keep watching. First things first, when I'm getting ready for bed, I generally reach for like a cleansing wipe, either a baby wipe or right now, I have the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I always use these ones that are for sensitive skin. I know they don't have any um, fragrance in them. They're fragrance free. All the other ones really irritate and dry out my skin and I don't like them. So these are great and I usually use this oil-free eye makeup remover to take off my mascara and it does a great job. So I found a few products that I really, really like and have repurchased. Some of them I've repurchased a couple of times and others I'm definitely going to repurchase. There might be one in here though that I'm not going to, but I'll explain why. After taking my makeup off, it's time to cleanse. So I have been using and loving this Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser daily foaming wash. <laughs> this face wash tends to be good for all skin types, but especially sensitive skin. It's very, very gentle. It contains two types of AHAs, which is alpha hydroxy acids. <laughs> Alpha hydroxy acids, which are lactic acid and glycolic acid. Lactic acid is from sour milk and glycolic acid is found in sugar cane. Alpha hydroxy acids act as chemical exfoliants. It also has pineapple, pumpkin, and papaya enzymes, which help to purify without over drying your skin. So with this face wash, I've noticed that my skin definitely feels really clean afterwards. It doesn't feel overly dried. However, sometimes in the winter months, like on the really cold, dry days, I was feeling a little bit of dryness. Um, but I don't necessarily blame it on this, but my skin was feeling a little bit dry. That's that, I think it's a great product, it smells great, and my skin feels really clean, and it does not irritate my skin, nothing flares up after it, it works great. Next, I have found something that I absolutely love and I don't think I will ever let out of my reach again, and that is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Gentle Exfoliating Treatment. Now, this is a little bit more expensive. I think it's around $65 or so, and it's small. There's only two fluid ounces in here, but you only have to use it twice a week. You definitely should be using it at night when you do use it because there's a lot of redness for about 20 minutes after just from increased circulation, but it does the most amazing job. I was having some trouble with texture and bumps on my face, and this really has helped to clear it up. I will repurchase this again and again and again. It's amazing. It has the alpha hydroxy acti <laughs> I can't say that. It has the AHA lactic acid in it, which actually kind of increases your skin's sensitivity to the sun when you use it on a consistent basis. So obviously, just another moment for me to say, make sure you're wearing your sunscreen all the time. It also has enzymes in it. The lactic acid is what generally does most of the exfoliation in this. It's not really very granular, it's definitely a chemical exfoliant, which actually tends to work better than physical exfoliants, which have the granular beads in them or other variations. But that kind of tends to just move the dead skin cells around on your face, and so a lot of times you won't feel the difference that you could feel when you use this. It's amazing. I highly recommend spending the money on this because it will change your skin. So after all of that, it's time to treat your skin. I have been using and loving the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. It smells terrible when you put it on, but it really, really works. The main active ingredient in this product is hydroquinone, and the highest possible amount that is allowed in any product is 2%, and it has 2% hydroquinone, and it's an amazing, amazing lightening agent. It also contains glycolic acid, which really helps to smooth your skin. If you had acne scarring, which is generally referred to as hyperpigmentation, it even works great on dark circles. If you can get past the smell when you put it on your face, then you're good to go. I said that I had one product that I might not repurchase, and that is this such nice packaging. It's the Tarte Maracuja Neck Treatment. I feel like we all often forget about our neck and our decollete. It's really important to nourish because that ages just as fast as your face and if your skin is beautiful, plump, and youthful and then you have an old looking neck, 
I don't know, I think that that will just give you right away. So I think it's important to make sure you put moisturizer on your neck every time that you are putting moisturizer on your face. This I got to try just to see if it, it did any difference. I think that it's a great hydrator, but I really didn't see much of a difference. I think you could just as well use a regular moisturizer and not spend the $45 on this. Okay, so I found a great moisturizer for anybody who has sensitive skin or a lot of redness. This is the Ole Henriksen Nurture Me Moisturizing Cream. It smells, it almost smells to me like bubble gum, but it's really rose hip fruit oil. It's great for dry and sensitive skin. It contains a multivitamin blend as well as sunflower and rosehip oil and those all really help to nourish and hydrate dry skin and it soothes redness like no other. I love it and I just can't beat the smell. I put it on and I just... <sighs> and last but not least, Aquaphor. I put Aquaphor on my lips every night before I go to bed and I really don't have much trouble with chapped lips ever. Notice I did not talk about an eye cream and I did not talk about a spot treatment. I have not used an eye cream that I could recommend. I just ran out of one from this brand called Artistry and it was like $150 or something insane like that and really I wasn't a huge fan. I'm still on the search for great eye cream. So if you have any recommendations of any that you love, then please leave them in the comments below. As far as a spot treatment, I don't get much acne, so I don't really use a spot treatment. So I don't have one that I could recommend right this moment. I have used one by Murad before, and I really liked that. It did a good job, but I don't have much acne, so I don't use a spot treatment in my everyday nighttime skincare routine. There are great skincare options from the drugstore and maybe I'll do a separate video on those because I've definitely used drugstore skincare for many years as well. So, I think that's it. Hopefully that wasn't too much of information overload. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't leave without pressing the subscribe button. All products and details will be listed in the description box below. So check that out and I think that's about it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, she's so little. I love you. I love you so much. She's gonna get mad at me. Ugh. Ow, do you see what I have to deal with? <laughs> get away then, if you're gonna be mean. Oh, I knew life would be alright.